Hello, I'm Hafiz and thank you for tuning in FYG and today we'll be fixing Grand Theft Auto 2 on Windows 8.1. So first of all, you're going to be inserting your CD-ROM in the CD drive. Go to the install folder and then look for the word setup. Just run that without any compatibility shit or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Click on next, click on next and then uncheck this box and click on next and click on yes and click on next and let it install. And then by the end of the installation, uncheck this box and click on finish. Got it? Alright. Okay, so the next step is to actually click on the link below to download the GTA 2 fix. In that fix, you're going to be receiving two files. One is the Anglite 1.04 S of 29th of March 2015. Run the Anglite installation if you haven't done so. And then after that, you're going to cut this GD GFX switch into, into your GTA 2 folder. Got it? Just paste it there. ka -ching done all right once you have done this you're gonna launch the gta2 manager only if you want to change the default controls but if you launch this the first time you're gonna receive an box saying that this program can be run and shit like that you're just gonna click on the option saying that run this without getting any online help some shit like that okay you don't see in this video because i've already disabled mine that error message so anyway, once you got in here, you're going to change to any default controls, you know, just change to whichever controls you like. Don't bother changing any video settings here because it's only for direct 3D. Now we're going to run in 3D effects, right? So we're not going to change this. Okay, don't launch the game GTA 2 here. Don't launch from this launcher, okay? It's not going to help. All right, change your controls and quit. And then the first thing that you need to do is to run the GFX switch. Ensure the 3 dfx glide through OpenGL emulator is checked. And click on apply. And then you're going to launch the game using the GTA 2 executable file. Got it? It's that simple. Now this is just a one-time setup. After you have done this tab, you don't really have to open the GFX switch anymore. Okay, you're just going to run from GTA 2 EXE and then the game will launch. And then we'll see we'll see how it plays because the reason why i'm doing this fix i haven't tell you that right it's actually because the game is running freaking slow using direct 3d okay on windows 8.1 and don't bother using the white screen hack white screen hack because it's not gonna work you're just gonna get starters and then the game might be in window mode so as you can see right now right here right then right now the game is running on 30 fps smoothly that's right not 60 because if you uncheck the FPS limiter, it's gonna run like like crazy. So you know what? Just lock it. Unless you're using NVIDIA Inspector, there may be high chances on getting the 3D FX Glide to work on 60 FPS. But apart from that, don't bother. Small fix, small issue on 30 FPS. I don't mind. You know, I'm a console gamer for some time to time, so I don't give a shit about 30 or 60. You know what? That's the fix. So thank you once again for checking out FYG. I'm Hafiz signing off from YouTube.